The pick is in for the Dallas Cowboys, and it's brought to you by Manscaped. And the Dallas Cowboys have gone with some defensive backs so far in the 2021 NFL Draft. If you want to get your D back, go to manscaped.com slash chat. Enter the promo code chat. You get 20% off plus free shipping on the best male grooming products, including the Lawn Mower 3.0. Get your D back by shaving it up and cleaning it up. Let's get to this pick by the Dallas Cowboys. Josh Ball, offensive tackle out of Marshall. So the Cowboys go with an offensive lineman here, Tom. Dallas. There is a reason why he is graded as an undrafted free agent for me. And it has nothing to do with the talent. Talent-wise, we're talking borderline top 100 player. But Josh Ball was suspended by Florida State after he committed domestic violence against his ex-girlfriend uh, ex at Florida State. Kicked out of the school, there was a restraining order, uh, allegedly slapped her in the face, pushed her in the closet, all kinds of fucked up shit. So I hate this. This is bullshit. You should not draft Josh Ball. I don't believe in drafting people who beat people. That's not okay. Anger management was a problem. I hope he's changed. I hope he's become a better person as a result. All this stuff is Googleable. So talent-wise, you're talking top 100. But the off-the-field stuff... I'm out. I, I'm not touching that guy. You make a big deal about changing the culture, and then you draft this guy? No. Well, no, I'm out. Too. I'm not okay with this. Yeah, you make a big deal about changing the culture, but you go with Micah Parsons, who has some character issues. You go mm -hmm. with Kelvin Joseph, who Mark Stoops basically said, stay away from our program this past season at Kentucky, and now Josh Ball. So how are you going to say we're going to try to change the culture, and then you bring in guys with character concerns that don't add to a better culture? Look, I get it. He's young or whatever. He's in college. You should know not to beat people. Don't assault your girlfriend. There was a court-ordered restraining order 500 feet between Josh Ball and the victim from her, her residence, her parents' place, her church, her job, and her college. They don't give out restraining orders for good people. I'm out. Yeah. I'm not. This was talented. Yes. He might be a good football player. Don't beat women. That's if a that makes me like a hater, whatever undraftable because of that the talent is there i get that Re reportedly and allegedly repeatedly shoved and beat her i'm yeah. out on that guy what are you doing i'm out like i'm sorry yeah. like, we, we, we want to talk football here swing tackle traits raw talent is certainly there he's underdeveloped because he had to go to community college and then marshall fsu was going to let, let him go back in and the blowback was like nah actually this does not make any sense at all talent wise we're talking fourth rounder, top 100 guy, one of the best pure tackles left on the board. I don't believe in taking uh, abusers. That's yeah. like the one thing I'm not okay with. Yeah. So don't do that shit. Now, I'm sorry. Grade the Cowboys draft so far for us, A, B, C, D, or F. I thought to start the day, the Cowboys had kind of redeemed themselves yes. from a really weird and curious day one and day two. But now they go with another character concerning player. If he didn't have those character concerns, where do you think he goes? He would have been a top 100 pick. Like, he's that talented, but I don't like this. I'm not a fan of it whatsoever. So, look, you're taking a lot of major concerns here, guys, and that's a big red flag for me. You make a big deal about character and culture changers. Josh Ball's not that guy. I don't like taking abusers. I'm sorry.